Hi Booktube, it's Gina, and today I wanted to do a quick March wrap up. March was a really fun month for me. It was my first full month on Booktube, and I've just been having a blast so far, really just enjoying everything about it, making videos, talking with everyone in the comments, and just loving it so far. So I'm super excited I've made it through a whole month of Booktube. Um, in March, I think I made 12 videos, so that was pretty good. I really didn't know when I started how much I would be able to do or, or how much I would even have to talk about. I was a little worried that I wouldn't have enough or that what I had would not be that interesting, but I made 12 videos and really had a, a great time doing all of them. So thanks to everyone for watching my first month of Booktube. I'm coming to you today from a little bit of a different location. This is sort of my, um, my souvenir shelf. So I don't have a ton of souvenirs. I've told you I don't, I don't like a ton of knickknacks. And I like for the most part for my bookshelves to be just bookshelves. I don't like a, a lot of extra decoration, but I do have my mascot Woody and Lumiere, and then I've got my Kiss Cruise 9 memorabilia. So in 2019, I did a, a Kiss Cruise with, with the band, and it was one of the funnest vacations I have ever taken possibly the funnest thing I've ever done in my life. And maybe one of these days I will tell you about it, but uh, that was the, the little memorabilia, memorabilia that we got. It's a signed, a signed um, picture with casino chips um, from, from the band and it's all signed. So that, that is, this is sort of my memorabilia area um, of my bookshelves. I've also got, a picture, my wedding picture here. So I will show you my my producer Greg and I uh, back in the year 2000 when we got married. Little uh, little small ceremony, just the two of us. We eloped. It was fantastic. Um, so for the books for March, I read nine books, which is is pretty much average for me. Um, I could read more, but I, I also like to do other things. So nine is about my my normal uh, monthly monthly number. Um, I read seven mysteries for March Mystery Madness, which was wonderful and fun. I loved that. What a great event, and I'm so glad that there was a fun event. That's probably one of the reasons why I was successful in March is because I was participating in March Mystery Madness and I had a lot to read and a lot to talk about, so that was a lot of fun. And then I read two of the furrowed middlebrow Dean Street Press sort of modern classics um, that were also absolutely wonderful. So I read nine books in March, and then I bought a ton of books in March, and I've talked about them all in prior videos. I was gonna try and hold them up and show them to you, but um, the stacks are just not really um, amenable to that. So I've got the uh, four that I bought from Slightly Foxed, the little uh, memoirs, and then one that I bought from uh, the Folio Society, so I got those in the mail. Then I also got my subscription box, my first subscription box from Third Place Books in the mail, which was um, Infinite Country by Patricia Engel and uh, Fight of the Century, a book of ACLU uh, cases uh, throughout the, set, the century. So I'm excited to read those. Um, I made a foray into Barnes and Noble, for one trip, bought a bunch of books. I did half price books and bought some used books. Um, so overall, a very fun, fun book shopping month. Um, still trying to be real careful with the pandemic, so I don't plan to actually, until I get my vaccine series finished, which is gonna be my second shot on April 24th, um, this is probably, that was, that was all I'm gonna gonna do for going out until I get that um, all all wrapped up that vaccine. Um, 
I've been watching for my fun evening routine. I've been watching Star Trek and I'm watching Star Trek all of the series from beginning to end, which has just been so much fun. I started out of order because I didn't realize I was gonna do them all when I first started. So I started with The Next Generation, which is the series that I have watched the most of because I watched it a lot with my sister back in the 90s. So I started with that and then I realized that I, there was a bunch that I hadn't even seen at all. And so I decided at that point to start the, the entire series um, from beginning to end. So I started with The Next Generation and then I went to Deep Space Nine, which I loved. That was such a wonderful series, so much fun. And in that series, I loved that episode, and if you're not a Star Trek fan, sorry in advance, but that episode where the Deep Space Nine cast got transported into the original series, the Trouble with Tribbles episode, and that made me realize that I really wanted to go back and watch the original series. So that is what I'm watching right now, Star Trek, the original series, and yesterday was the Trouble with Tribble, which is one of my favorite Star Trek episodes. It's so much fun and it's just so silly and I'm just having a blast watching my Star Trek from beginning to end. Um, Greg and I every night watch a series together and we sort of pick something and we, we, we'd like to watch it from beginning to end. And in March, we watched uh, Damnation, which was not that great. It was on Netflix and was a series about, um, set back in the 1920s and 30s, about um, a group of people that were trying to organize and then and strike in in um, I think Iowa and then the group of people that were trying to break the strike and it was mm, it was all right it was not a very well done show I felt like it was kind of all over the place um, sort of like this video but uh, but we watched it and it was okay but what we've watched that we really loved and finished in March was Mindhunter and I don't know if any of you have watched Mindhunter it was a really fun show though on um, the, the sort of the discovery of serial killers back in the 70s about the FBI team that was investigating and and started realizing that there was such a thing as a, a serial killer. So that was that was a really fun series to watch. So we're trying to find a new series right now and um, you know, it's almost like a book hangover when you finish a really good series it's like, "Oh, now what are we going to watch?" Um so the, let's see, let me just check my notes here real quick. Um, oh, the last thing I wanted to talk about was my monthly music because I love music and I want to include what I'm listening to in these wrap up videos. And this, uh, this is a record, my, probably my favorite record of all time. This is Bob James and David Sanborn. The name of the record is Double Vision. Um, Bob James is a keyboardist. David Sanborn is a saxophone player and and I had this, I bought this um, on probably CD. I might have even bought it on tape, um, on cassette tape back in the 90s. I can't remember. Um, but I've, I've had it ever since then. I still listen to it regularly. We, we saw them play at um, Chateau Saint-Michel, which is a winery in my area. They did this whole record from beginning to end which was wonderful. And that's where I bought this on vinyl. I've also got the CD of it. Um, but I listened to this on my turntable. I, um, I mostly listen to, to either records or streaming music. We'll probably get rid of our CD player. We don't even listen to that anymore. Um, but this is just a, a really fun, so, sort of smooth jazz. So it's not everyone's taste, but I really love it a lot. Um, so that's the music that I've been really liking um, this month. And uh, lastly, I think I'm just gonna mention probably what my favorite book of the month was, which was um, Revelation by C.J. Sansom. So Revelation is the fourth in the Matthew Shardlake series. It's set in Tudor, England, and Shardlake is a lawyer that is involved with Thomas Cromwell and 
Henry VIII and some political intrigue. And it's a really fun series where he um, he's trying to get out of politics because he really just wants to lead a simple life, but he keeps sort of getting pulled back into the, the political intrigue of the time. And it's just a wonderful combination of discussing religion and the reform movement that was going on and belief and how the state can try to control that. So even though it's a it's a sort of a fun mystery series, I feel like it also addresses some really topical things like religion and the state religion, control of religion, um, serial killers, which connects back to mine hunters. I'm always making connections in my mind. Um, so if you haven't read the Matthew Shard Lake series, I would definitely recommend it. The, the atmosphere is wonderful. He describes sort of the gritty dirtiness of London at that time um, in just a wonderful, rich, and evocative way. So I'm really, really loving that series. I need to actually buy it hard in a paperback or a, a paper copy. I've been reading it on my Kindle, which is, is wonderful, but it's a series that I love enough that I think I need to at least have one of the books um, in, a, in an actual paper copy so I can hold it up and show it to you here. So, uh, so that was my, my month, my March. It's been fantastic. I've been having a wonderful time and I really appreciate everybody joining me on the adventure. Bye, BookTube.